Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Scott. This is Red Bandia Outdoors. We are in the heart of Red Bandia today. And if you know where we're at, you know, feel free to comment below and let me know. This is my home river here in Oregon. And uh, we're just doing an afternoon float today. It's Friday before the 4th of July. We just crossed under the highway. It's quite a bit of a stream of traffic headed out to my part of the state. As you can see, it's very beautiful here. You can understand why people would come here on a hot sunny day. But come with us. We're going to float the river. We're going to get picked up around dark today. And we're going to have a good time. That was a nice one right there, that rose. I hope you got that. There's another one right there. Oh yeah, those are nicer trout. Not giants. Not giants. Not as good as it looks. Looks good from the road. It's a little fast. I mean, we're in the zone. We're down there. If you commit too much to get over to that other side, you gotta get back because of this. It's a little bit tricky. I feel like we're giving it a little, a little bounce here now and then. See if we can let it swing in here. I want to swing in and kick it out. Cast up to it and swim down through that. Oh, there we go. You saw it here first. That's a big boy. Is that on video? Are we live and in 2D? Or 3D? Hopefully, you caught that. Alright, we'll try and anchor up a little bit log. Land this bad boy. I don't know how big that is, but fish finder jigs, folks. You need one? Let me know. Or in some kind of or in something. I'll figure it out. It works. Red sun, 90 degrees. Oh, do you think that was a trout? Anybody see a trout there? Did you see a trout on that one? Okay, we're gonna have to be smart about this. Get tied off to that log. And that's a giant, my friends. And that's a giant. Welcome to Red Bandia. Okay, we've gone deep here. We found the star of today's video. It's surely not me. Let's see if we can't figure this out here. Get the boat tied off. Oh, I don't know how we're gonna do this, folks. A little deeper than I thought right here. 
There's really only one way to do it. I think we should just get the fish in the net first and worry about everything else later. We got, we're getting good video. We're getting good video. Three cars know we have a giant trout on now. Three cars know we have a giant trout on. A couple things to be aware of. We are in the middle of the river. Four cars. A giant trout, four cars. It's not as giant as I thought. They always shrink when you zoom them up, you know? Well, that's not fair. That's not fair. You guys saw the... You guys saw the line peeling action. It's a jumbo. Well, that was a bit of a fiasco, which means normally it's nice to get out of the boat, but waist deep here. And this boy zinged it in that riffle there you saw. And of course, he did eat all of it. The fish finder jig. There he is right here. Let's get him out in the sun. And let's get him a little release. Oh my son. Well folks, real time. You saw all that here pro first. Point point me south, camera north. Get a little bit of picture, better picture. Tiny bit of battery life it looks like right here. Try to spin around over my shoulder you'll see that riffle come by uh, it's right out here that fish just zinged it right in there you can see i was just swinging it i actually let line out to kind of slacken it up and drift it in right there and sure enough didn't seem optimum but i think the number one rule of fishing there was keep it in the water i don't care what you're doing with the fish finder jig, but keep it in the water, swinging it, flipping it, snapping it, jigging it, keep it in the water. That's above average fish for here. That's an average fish for the fish finder jig. Thanks for sticking with us. That was quite some fish. Glad you could join me for the action. Pretty exciting, I catch fair number of those fish every year and I always love it when I catch another one. It's pretty exciting. As you can see I stopped downstream here, probably floated about a mile. Um, my favorite spot to stop in the shade. I have a snack I can just motor right in here, float right in under my boat, and put you guys up on a tree, have some snapple. Back hour. But yeah, if you're interested in getting some fish finder jigs for yourself, you know, as my channel grows, my contact information will be on there. You'll watch this video. But feel free to get a hold of me. If there's some jigs I can use. If there's some jigs that you can send me in the mail and I'll send back to you tied up. We'll figure out an arrangement. They're obviously very productive things to be using on trout rivers like this. Um, there's a lot of water here today. Very difficult to fish in the wind. Very difficult to fish in deep wading conditions. You cast upstream in deep wading conditions when the river's this fast. Punch that jig right through the wind. Drops in the water. Drops a foot a second, faster than cast it upstream. It's in the fish's face immediately, and a lot of time you have fish on. You will lose a few, that's part of the game, but it really, really just creates a very low stress, high fun fishing environment that I would like you to experience beyond just coming with me on the YouTube channel and seeing how I do it out here out west. Just back from a trip in Montana, You've seen some of the videos. Works very well there. Back here in Oregon, fishing is incredible. 
This is one of the best fishers, fish, fisheries in the entire world, this river for trout. Consistently it's cold water, consistently the flow is generally the same. The trout seem to be very, very aggressive and always feeding on something here. And there's lots of them. So stick with me and take you along. We're going to catch a few more trout. We're just taking our little snack break here. A little gas station pretzel pack. An ice tea. Oh yeah, baby, we're going to have to really ration those mile by mile here to get us down to the power at dark. So stick with me. We're having fun. We're going to have a great time. I wanted to show you guys another thing about this cool spot under the tree. I was just here snacking, finishing up, getting ready to push off. I see a crayfish body there by the shore. Kind of made me wonder about crayfish a little bit. If the trout are eating them. Then I kind of look up and I see some scat on the rocks, a little bit more there, giant piles right there. And I look up on this tree, it's like teeming with caddis. It's wrapped in chicken wire to protect it from the beavers and covered, just covered in stonefly that have crawled up it. So, there's quite a bit of life going on here. This tree's been protected, obviously, for a very long time. Um, other animals spend a lot of time in the shade here and like this spot, so. Figured I would just show you that. It's kind of cool. The sun's gonna catch it if I point you upstream, so. That big tree right there. It's a cool spot. It's always cool to just slow down out here and see what's around and look down. One day we'll we'll dig in the river and we'll pull out some bugs. Anyway, we'll float the river. I'll give you some cool more some more cool shots. Probably put you back on chesty because that's pretty easy to do and I can turn you on and off and Not good. That wasn't good. That wasn't the way we wanted to start it out. It's nice to just let these spots settle down after you paddle in here. Little brushy coves. You never know how close the fish are going to be. It's a good shady spot is why we chose this for a break. But <clears throat> Try and get one right in close here. In the danger zone. It's always good to get them in close. Don't be afraid to get them close. Oh, that was a good fish too. God! Stop calling them out here. Get them in close. And that fish bent the rod. You felt him. He ain't coming back. I'd be surprised. We're going to have to sneak up through the trees there and get another one because that one ain't coming back. That was a bender. Try him again. No. He ain't coming back. Alright, let's go up through the trees here, leave the net and everything.
good spot right off the corner of that tree. Big boy grabbed it, you could feel him. Boom, 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 boom. Then he had it and I tried to give it to him and he let go. So let's just go right through here. And be right through here. We don't spook. It's a little windy, that's fine. Keeps people off the river. We're gonna fish right through there. Just kind of bash back with. Fish finder jig, six o'clock, Fourth of July weekend, Friday. There we go. First cast. What did I tell you guys? Look at that. Is that awesome or what? That's a spicy fish, folks. It's not the biggest one of the day by any means, but they are in here. You want to fish this river in Oregon? Tell her it's hard. Fish finder jigs, friends. Nice wild trout. Nice wild trout. And there's a long old seam right here. Long seam to fish. This is a good section of river. The other side down there is where I caught some last time I floated. This is a shady seam right here. Wouldn't expect that to be the only one. Wind is howling. There's another one, folks. Another puller. Another puller right along the bank. Ooh, that's a nicer one. That is a nicer one, folks. Oh, yes, it is a nicer one. Are you filming or what, bro? Okay. Fish finder jig fish number two landed. Number three hooked right at this spot. Look at the pad. And there he is. Popped him off real easy. Amazingly good spot, folks. Looks like we have a beaver or river otter out here in front of us. Kind of keep, keep quiet, see if we can sneak on him. He sees us for sure. Oh. Under he went. I think it's a river otter. All right then, they're letting us know. They're not really friendly feeding right now. Thought there'd be one in there. On the little action. Oh, there is, there is. Wants to be on YouTube, he does. About the eighth cast, ooh, not a bad one, my son, my friends. Oh no, no, he is not a bad one. Not a bad one at all, my friends. All right, thanks for sticking with us, folks. That's a little bit of a nicer one there. You know that fish finder jig just tucked right in there. Just tucked right in there, folks. Another nice trout right there. You want to see more action like that and other fishing? Easy techniques. 
Put 10 fish in the boat in the afternoon. Like and subscribe, you know the game.